Ariel Hawani at Madison Square Garden in New York City alongside Lorenz Larkin, who meets Douglas Lima for the Bellator 170-pound title June 24th right here at MSG. Lorenz, it's good to see you. I feel like just a couple of weeks ago I see you at a UFC event. Now here you are, Bellator pay-per-view. This is kind of nuts. It, it, it doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'm pumped. You know, it's how things have just happened, you know, in these past seven months. It's been crazy. It's almost amazing because I think for a while you were getting a little impatient. Your management team was getting impatient. Like, okay, what's going on here? And now the timing of it all, because if you would have signed earlier and maybe debuted in, say, January or so, maybe this opportunity isn't, you know, presented to you. Now here you are. Do you think of things that way? Like, you know, in hindsight, it's amazing how all the stars align. Yeah, you know, the whole, just the whole process was crazy. You know, uh, me going months and months, you know, with nothing really on the table. And um, it all really boiled down to, um, you know, my, my, my team has been talking with Bellator back and forth. And it really just boiled down to, I was going to Manchester not too long ago. And I got on the phone with Scott, a 30-minute conversation turned to a signed deal. Yeah. You know, and it was just easy as that. I feel like the uh, the lesson here is we don't really need managers. You can do it yourself. <laughs> Who's Adi Attar, right? Right, right. What what does he do? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Adi's a great guy. Um, and, and, and you said at the press conference that you were surprised that they gave you this opportunity, this title shot mm -hmm. right off the bat. What were you thinking that they were going to give you? You know, I, I'm not too sure. You know, I, I was thinking... Somebody in you know in the in the top ten you know I just didn't know what or who or, or not what yeah, yeah. but who you know um you know there, I guess there's been a lot of talks of you know that's why I signed the contract that was never there was no big details in the contract it was pretty much just do you you know do you want to fight for us yeah and um, let's work it out you know there's no like title implications or anything like that so you know it was just perfect timing just like you're saying and um, I got a call two weeks ago and said you know are you ready to fight I said yep and um, they said you know how about MSG June 24th against Lima and I was like Douglas Lima and they're like yeah I was like do I even need to reply do I do you need an answer you know so it's 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 crazy how everything is working out how much did you know about Lima when you were fighting in the UFC uh, have you watched him are you familiar with him that's the thing. I, I watch Bellator cards. You know, I, I I'm I tend to watch, you know, uh, other cards. You know, other than you know UFC cards. But yeah, I've watched his fights. You know, and I've always paid attention to what's kind of going on. You know, not deep, deep, deep attention, but I know, I always knew what the top top guys were. You know, in Bellator. So you know, I've watched his fights, and they're exciting. And he brings it. just like I bring it. So that's why I was so pumped to be on you know Madison Square Garden on pay per view. Yeah. And just our two styles that are going to clash, you know, here. It's going to be crazy. I mentioned this to him earlier. Um, when, when the Chael fight was announced, the, the, uh, the co-main event with Fedor and Mitchell was announced, and, and even the Chandler fight, there's always criticism. People are saying, like, oh, these guys are too old. You know, who's Brent Primus, all this stuff. But with your fight, mm -hmm. it was, like, universally praised. Oh, there's no way this can be a bad fight. Did you see that? And is, does that kind of bring some pressure? to the table like oh man I really have to live up to something here because this is the fight that all the hardcores are talking about mm -hmm. well the good thing about the hardcores you know is uh I've never tried to go in there and be exciting okay and uh I've never tried to say like this fight I need to do this because they need to talk about it I just always anytime I fight I just come to fight you know so I think that's good about my style and that's what's got me to this point uh, you know in my career and I feel like he's the same way I've never seen him do anything out of the norm you know I just feel like he that's just his fighting style that's what makes him exciting it's just him going out there and fighting and and I think it's just both both it's good both ways because we're just gonna go in there and fight you know and it's gonna make for one of the most exciting fights on the card since coming over to Bellator since getting this opportunity on this card have you heard from a lot of people in other organizations in particular the UFC saying oh what's it what's it been like why'd you choose them how was the process? Have you heard from other fighters? No, not not so much. You know, some fans, you know, uh, I guess some fans were a little disappointed. But, you know, I, I, it's been all welcoming. You know, it's been all good so far. You know, I mean, who's to say, you know, in the future? But everything right now has been hunky-dory. You <laughs> know, I, I was saying fans wondering, like, or excuse me, fighters wondering, like, mm -hmm. oh, being oh, interested, actually, like, yeah, yeah, yeah what's yeah, it been yeah. like, you know? getting this opportunity the process with Scott things like that for their own personal interest oh, okay no not yet 
but you know I wouldn't be opposed to telling them you know it my thing is you know I just I never sugarcoat shit you know it, it's all my all my talks are from experience what have I what I, I've experienced not speculations or anything like that so you know for right now if any fighter comes and talks to me it's it's nothing but good stuff you know and I haven't had no problems and the staff has been just great to me you know and so now you know it's just time to fight you know <laughs> it's 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 ridiculous, man. Yeah, I can't you know, imagine you'd be very upset with this whole situation. No, Here we are, no. MSG. No, you know, I can't complain. You know, it's What can you complain sure. about? Um, one last thing. I've always wanted to ask you this. When you square off, historically, you don't look at your opponent. Why is that? You know, my thing is I've always done it because I, will, I always have the thought of there's no reason to be tough. Mm. You know, I, I just square off just uh, for respect, you know, and... Um, there's no reason for me to be tough or get in a guy's face or yell shit at him because I'm going to fight you, you know what I mean? And, and I've, I've always been like that even since I've been young, you know, when I get real hot, when I was real hot headed, you know, I have to fight you. It was just one of those things where I wasn't cool until we fought. Mm -hmm. So that's the same way here. You know, I, I mean, there's no reason for me to get in my opponent's face or put my fists up to him, you know, and all that other stuff because... I'm going to fight you. I have a set date, a set time, and I'm going to fight you, you know, and, and there's nothing that's going to change that unless you back out. So, you know, it's just, that's just something that I've always done. Okay, fair enough. I'm expecting something really cool on the head for this one. I mean, this is a big deal. Mm -hmm. Do we know already? I mean, you're going to have the, the oh, bell there, right? Side yeah. mission bell, yep. Yeah. But, like, what about the design around it? Are we going to do something a little different because this is a big unveiling no. first? No, no if, if anything, it's unveiling for, you know, New York to, okay. you know, to experience me, okay. you know. So I'm going to be the same haircut, same thing, Riverside Pride, you know, when I get in there and show New York, you know, how, how Riverside gets down. All right. I look forward to it. Best of luck to you on June 24th. Thank you. Thanks, Lawrence.